Hello, thank you for taking a couple minutes to take a peek at Booker and Suter's Connects for Service Cloud Voice. I'm going to hop in and do a quick demo for you here. And uh, I guess to, to set the stage for the demo, what I'd like to show is uh, we're, gonna, we're going to bring in a call and our caller who is calling in is going to have a phone number of all fives here. And we're just going to play out a couple couple scenarios here to show the flexibility of Service Cloud Voice. And in this scenario, this phone number that is the that's calling in matches six contacts in our system. Right? You could um, probably imagine multiple scenarios where this might exist. Maybe this is a common um, phone number at your your business or something like that. But um, but we see this this happen quite a bit. And I'm just going to use this scenario as a way to talk through how we can build different agent experiences uh, depending on information that we learned when this call comes in. So I'm going to walk you through three different scenarios in this, uh, this demo. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to have the customer call in. And when they call in, we're going to ask if they would like to enter an account number into the system. And when they do, we're going to see if we can help that or use that account number to help identify who it is that's calling. So in the first scenario, we're going to call in from this phone number and the account number that's going to be entered is this 43836686, meaning that there's only one contact that has that phone number and that account number. Therefore, we know who is calling in and we will uh, build an experience to present to the agent um, to pull up that contact, to screen pop that contact and any information that we have about that contact so that the agent can quickly uh, start working. The second scenario where you're going to look at is when we call in and we do not enter an account number, and now we have all six contacts that match. We're gonna show what that looks like for the agent, how we can build a little bit of a different experience for them to help them take the next steps necessary. And we can also show how maybe the caller that is calling in, uh, they enter 83156998, which matches only two of the contacts out of the six, right? Can we, can we use that information to help filter down the results so that the agent can uh, quickly determine who it is that's calling and start working with them. So with that, let's take a quick peek at these three scenarios in Salesforce using Booker and Suter's Service Cloud Voice Connector. Okay, I am in Salesforce now. I am on my agent home screen, and I'm going to first take a peek at uh, Omni Supervisor. Let's just go see what we can see in Omni Supervisor across the, the different digital channels. Uh, Service Cloud Voice does give us the ability to see phone channels. I've got a couple of them here alongside all other digital channels, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this call in quick. So let's hop back here real quick. I'm gonna, going to click through these here. So let's go back. We're going to call in and we're going to do this first scenario where we enter an account number. So let's do that real quick. Press one to enter your account number or press start to continue. Please enter your account number followed by the pound sign. Okay, let's hop back into Salesforce now that I've placed that call. And what's interesting from a uh, Omni supervisor perspective is that I can see that there is now a call in the phone premium queue. It's been in there for 11 seconds. It's the one that I just placed. If we hop in here quick, Let's take a look at all the information that we have about this call that is currently sitting in the queue. We can see that we've identified this call as Lauren Bailey calling from this phone number from Omega Incorporated, uh, calling about case 1400. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of great details we can configure and, and select what are the things that we would like to present in this view. But not only that, I can come in here and open this record if I would like, call comes in. And I can start to peek into this call before the call is even delivered to an agent. So uh, let's hop back out here. I'm going to close that now. I'm going to log into our connector real quick and connect back to Cisco. And we will go active as an agent to take this call. So here we see our Booker and Suter connects for Service Cloud Voice. I'm going to log in. Okay, I'm in the busy state. Once I go to the ready state, we should see this call get delivered to the agent. Okay, I can hear the phone ringing on my end. It's probably not coming through the recording, but I will accept this call. 
let's take a look at all the information that was presented to the call, even while the phone was ringing for the agent there, right? So we have along the left side of the screen, we've got some, some information that we're, um, we've configured to present to the agent. This is once again, completely configurable. You can determine what it is that you would like to place on the screen. And to be honest, this whole screen, this whole layout of this voice call record, you can configure to be, um, to be laid out how you would like. But we can see that we've got some phone controls up here. Like I can end the call, I can pause and put them on uh, hold. If I wanted to maybe uh, share a record with another agent, I could, if it was this case that I was working on, I could maybe share this case in case I was going to transfer it to them. Um, I've got voice call details here that I can quickly update at any point, like maybe say there's network issues. I can see other numbers that maybe I'd want to call or transfer to, uh, and we'll see live transcription here in a second. I'll, I'll kind of show how that works. But let's take a peek at what else was presented to the agent here. We've got a summary of some really good information, like the contact, Lauren Bailey. I can update and make changes to the contact here if I need to. Uh, we can configure what fields it is that we'd like to show here. Uh, we've got account, same thing. Uh, maybe I want to see a previous voice calls that uh, that Lauren has had. So I can see here's when Lauren has called in. I could click into any of these call records and see details about it if I wanted. Uh, I could see the asset. I could see the case. Um, maybe this is not the correct case. Maybe I want to create a new case. We could add a button, right, to quickly create a new case for that agent. So we've got a great amount of information here, kind of summarized in one view for this agent. And we can really really configure this and build this to be exactly what it is that you want your agent to see. This is really just an example that I've created for this demo. But not only did we open this summary view here, you'll notice that there's a couple sub tabs that we've also opened up here, like the case, we've got the contact, we've got maybe the asset that they're working on, right? But the neat thing about this is that as I continue to navigate through these sub tabs and do work, my phone controls and all the other information that I want to keep visible to the agent stays here and easily accessible. And let's hop back to our voice call record here for a second. Imagine I'm working on this call. Uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, live transcription coming in for our, um, for our agent. Hello, Lauren, how can I help you today? Okay, so here we see the agent uh, live transcription being populated and presented. And before I respond as the customer, what I want you to keep your eye open or eye on here is the next best action section up here in the top right corner. As the customer replies, we're going to see that we can drive um, activities on the screen depending on this live transcription that's coming in. And because of what the customer says, we're going to see a next best action presented to the agent. I was wondering if you could help me troubleshoot a problem I'm having with my product. So as we see that come in, we also see a next best action presented to the agent to run some diagnostics. So we can click that and let's see, maybe we'll run a network connectivity test. And this is really just a screen flow that we're presenting to the agent. You can build and configure whatever screen flow it is that you would like to uh, present to the agent to help them work through something. And when you kick off that screen flow, we can pass in any information that we have in context here to help drive and work through that screen flow. Okay, I am going to end this call quick. Let's hop back to our presentation for a second. And this time we are going to bring in a second call. But here we are not going to enter an account number. So let's uh, hop back to Salesforce here. We'll close out of this call. I'm gonna go back to busy real quick while I place this. Press one to enter your account number or press start to continue. Okay, I've got the call placed in queue. Let's go to available and let's see how this changes. This time when I answer, um, I've decided that since I don't know who's calling, um, we, can, we can do a lot of things here, right? I can uh, give the ability to search for a contact if we wanted and add it or um, like you'll see here, this time we've turned on a screen flow on the right side of the screen to say, hey, from this phone number that is called in, this 555 number, all of these contacts exist in our system that match that phone number. So if you were speaking on the phone and you were to say that, yeah, this is Bree, I could select Bree, 
And as I hit next here, you're going to see me update and sync all that information into the call. So now we know that this is Bree. We have Bree's account details tied to this call. And now I can also see Bree's previous calls too here for reference. And maybe I see that a few days ago, Bree called in about a case here. Maybe she's calling back about that. So I can quickly get to that, right? Navigate to this case for Bree and start working on that. Um, maybe it isn't this case that Bree is calling about. And she says that she's calling about her credit card terminal. And I want to quickly create a case. We can do that. So let's generate a new case for Brie. We see the case created here. And we also see that that new case has been opened up in another tab so that the agent can quickly just start working on it. So these are all just examples of what it can look like to uh, build an experience for the agent to help them move quickly um, with the customer. Let's take one last look here at the call coming in with this third scenario, where now we're going to enter a contact, but that contact is going to be from DataNet, but there's multiple contacts that uh, still match that phone number. So let's hop back, let's end this, and we'll place in one more call real quick. Press 1 to enter your account number. Let's start. Please enter your account number followed by the pound sign. Okay, we see the call coming in. I'm going to answer that. Okay, this time we do know, we and we've set here, that this is uh, DataNet, the account, right? And I could quickly click on the account if I needed to, get into details, maybe look at related contacts here if needed. But what we've also done is we're showing that the results over here again for the agent. But rather than showing six or seven contacts this time that match, here we're saying here's the contacts that match for DataNet. Right. So now it could be Bree, could be Kristen. Uh, if we say it's Kristen, let's hit next and we will update the page. And now we have Kristen tied here. Right. And we've got some other calls that Kristen has called in about. And we can see the details of those as well. Right. So really just showing here uh, Service Cloud Voice and how we can, uh, when the call comes in, really through the IVR, we can build an experience for that call for that agent. Right. We can really customize this uh, on a per call basis, depending on what we've learned about it, to help the agent quickly move forward. Uh, the, and the examples that I've shown here are really just an example. Right? I think use your imagination and what you could build in the page layout here, how you could make this look for the agent, and what information could you use in the system to help determine what it is that you would like to present to the agent. So. We've worked through these three scenarios of a single contact match with account, a multiple contact match without an account, and a multiple contact match with account. If you would like to uh, dig in a little bit deeper and understand how we are doing this, please reach out. Go check out bookerandsuiter.com slash SCV for Service Cloud Voice and reach out to us. We'd love to visit with you and show you more details. Thank you.